And he Wayne didn't even put a movie out yet. What? He ain't even put a movie out mm. yet. When I tell you that Hollywood is, they knocking at the door, not like this. They're banging They knocking like there. the feds. Trying to get that boy in there. Because if I can make $10 million and I don't even got to leave my cell phone, you know what they thinking. Ooh. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So, Forbes list, you got to start somewhere. At 34 years old, $10 million, and the biggest comedian right now, Kevin Hart, was at 7.5. And Wayne didn't even put a movie out yet. What? He didn't even put a movie out mm. yet. When I tell you that Hollywood is, they knocking at the door, not like this. They banging They knocking like the feds. Trying to get that boy in there. Because if I can make $10 million and I don't even got to leave my cell phone, you know what they thinking. Ooh. Wow. We'll, we'll put up $100 million but, in them. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But the way how y'all move, I can see him doing his own movie. Not we already to... shot it. Oh, <laughs> so you know see. better. Okay, but, right. We already shot it. But, but right. the thing, the, rather the, than going through the, them, the just thing, do everything yourself. To convince, to convince everybody, mm -hmm. you know, like, you know, um, that this is the route to go. Because everybody can't do this though. First of all, let me let me back up a little bit. Everybody nah, can't do can't. this, bro. I, and, and it looks simple because. I see it, mm -hmm. but I understand because of the world that I've built around me. And I know that people look at the finishing of, of what one does and think mm -hmm. it's easy. It I'm telling you. you. It's a gift. But you know what? Everybody does have a gift that can be shown to make money off of. You just got to tap into it. You got to tap into it. It's, whatever your thing is, the beautiful thing about today's time is the people, like the rappers today, the old rappers be hating on the new rappers, right? These niggas making money. Back then, we was faking like we had money. Yeah. We were wearing the chain, the label got us. Mm -hmm. These boys walk around with three million dollars worth of jewelry for real. That's theirs. They got caught because the middleman cut out. We don't need Atlantic Records. We don't need, so now when I don't need you, when the, if, if I do do a deal with Atlantic Records or in the movie world, Universal, once I show them I need you, because they're a bank. Yeah. Universal is a bank. Sony is a bank. Mm -hmm. They gonna write the they gonna give Wayne a blank check. Like when I say, uh, Wayne don't do this. He don't do interviews. He don't. Yeah, he just page, said it on another he don't on talk another about show. Nothing. I actually I heard him say it on another show. He don't like to talk about it. He just because do it. he know he he getting so much. He yeah. don't talk about. It. He don't even. He ain't even saying about the Will Smith smack. Will don't talk. I mean Wayne, I be getting frustrated. I'm like, bro, I need to say something. To, yeah, because, because something. when you no, went, no, I gotta ask him when that, you went on social media after the Will Smith thing. Every comedian. Yeah, I told I was wasn't talking about. Saying, man, I already when know. I mean, I, it, the part that was funny to me about comedians who were saying it because a lot of comedians were saying it like y'all don't even think, think about, about it. coming over. They wanted the nigga. That was funny. They to wanted me. every nigga. Don't come up on there trying to run like, up on there like that. Don't nigga. think you can do that to me. <laughs> you know what he said? He said, "Man, that's why I just talk about me and my family. Can't we go got, we got enough problems. Yeah. <laughs> that's dope. That's the same thing Kevin Hart do." We yeah, ain't talk about him. We ain't gonna talk about people in the crowd. Like when you go give him the bathroom, and I mean, I'm 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 a little more ratchet. I like that type <laughs> of shit, but I'm learning. Wayne is teaching, showing me to be more polished. Yeah, he's younger than me, but he's mentoring. Don't me. matter. I've had yeah. that same thing. I tell youngsters that all the time. That's been in the podcast yeah. world. You got to know. You, you can know learn from at. anybody. He's anybody. seventy. Wayne's seventy for real. <laughs> but let me ask you. Uh, like, what's the most? Because because I know you've done a lot of skits. Mm -hmm. What's the skit that done the most? That you you're on the that done the most views the most views yeah. the quickest or the most views over a period of time over a period of time or the quickest you see what I'm saying like it, it, you do a lot of them and they mm -hmm. all go to a million I yeah. ain't gonna, that's easy I don't know I don't know I know what I know I know one of the most um, impactful ones was the one when I made Deacon oh, when boy, I made Deacon be tripping in that church man because let me tell you something when I first came on Wayne was like when I was coming around we would be the group, you know what I'm saying? And Wayne would be cracking up, laughing at me, and be like, man, Mike, funny. And everybody would be sitting around like, yeah, 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 right. yeah right. He was like, I'm telling you, man, he, he, man, you funny, Mike. And I was like, is he really, like, he trying to be, <laughs> is he, is he trying to be funny? About you? He, you know what I'm saying? And he would always say that, just, man, Mike, funny, man, I'm telling you. And then the group started kind of peeping like, oh, Mike is funny. Yeah, and when he was putting me on the skits, people at first was like, "Ah, oh, man, who was this big old muscle bound dude?" He, <laughs> you know, they wasn't really rocking me like that. And Wayne was like, "Nah, I'm gonna keep pushing you on them because they don't know yet, but you funny, you real funny." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he kept, and now it's like, you know, what I'm saying, people stop me like everywhere I go. It's like 
eight pictures in the airport. Hey, man, you so funny. I'm like, damn. Man. I love, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. I love that dude, man. I do. But that's what I'm saying. Like, he knows that it's a different type of funny. He's mm -hmm. not looking for what you, you may be looking at other people and comparing what you think, mm -hmm. but it's something he sees in you that he feels other people hadn't tapped into. It gotta be. But that's what I see. When I see you, yeah. I'll be like, this dude different. He just he ain't even trying. Like yeah. he just you being like your normality brings out the funny for me. Mm -hmm. I know because I watch you. I'm telling you. Yeah, I appreciate it's just, that. Just a, it's just a chill code where I can be funny and I ain't even got to go the extra mile like everybody else do. I'm just coming across the way I come across. Like being with Ro, mm -hmm. bringing the different girl, be, getting caught with that girl. That was funny as hell to me <laughs> when he when he when he seen him at the uh, I don't know where y'all was at. No, y'all was coming out somewhere at a movie oh, or yeah, restaurant. At the restaurant. And I was like, damn, he can't. He called loved it. that one. <laughs> That's Wayne, the one for me right there. You know what's funny? Wayne said that. Wayne was like, he said, this, he said, I always said the Deacon skit. He said, no, bro, that's a skit that he said the people really, he said, senior funny. Yeah. Was mm -hmm. when, when I caught you, he said, your face was funny. I wasn't oh, really saying that. Oh, that was much. funny, man. I was yeah. like, you were just chilling, though, but you know you wasn't right. And she was out there at first. I didn't even know you was going to pop out like that. Right. I'm like, this nigga in here too. <laughs> and he supposed to be with Ro. Mm -hmm. That's the part that would throw me off. So how, how did you and Ro get such good chemistry? Oh, I'm sorry. Ro, man, she's a great woman. Man. I love Ro. Ro, I love Ro, thank you for always answering my DMs. You never treated me knowing you should just answer. And I'm like, this Ro, is weird. Yeah. Man, Ro like, is. Like, this is weird. Right. I showed you. I said, my wife. I said, look, Ro, Ro be answering mine. Ro right? is a, <laughs> man, she a great woman, man. She is. She like my. Ro is like the. The mama, sister, because it's a family now. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, you got a family. It's you got different components and different personalities and different this and different that, and it's mostly men. So you got a bunch of testosterone. Yeah, a robe always keeps the balance. You know what I'm saying? You can she tell. Keep, she keeps the balance. She's such a sweet woman, man, and yeah. she's a really good actress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could tell. She told me she yeah. was going yeah. to act. Something well, she, she had going, yeah, a she, movie that was happening in Dallas. That's what she told oh, me. Yeah. Okay. Well, she just recently just shot um, Chicago Fire. Okay. Oh, that's big. NBC huge. Yeah. Like, I like so, that show. Yeah, so she coming into hers, man. We all just coming into ours, man. And I just love the whole team. I love uh, seeing everybody win. Yeah. And I love being a part of something where I, the thing I deal with usually is the guy who can help me but won't because he's afraid that the woman yeah. gonna like me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's afraid, afraid the women gonna think Mike might be too handsome. I'm gonna help this nigga for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wayne the first dude of all the celebrities I ever met, he the first one that is secure around me. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.